Hey, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this dragon style editing effect in Adobe Photoshop. It's a really, really fun way of giving your portraits a little bit more drama and mood. So I'm going to start at the beginning and walk you through the process. So first thing we want to do is come down to the bottom and we want to add a curves adjustment and just come to the default and select medium contrast. Then come down to the bottom again and select a levels adjustment and again select increase contrast number two so a medium contrast so now we've done that we need to just suck out some of that color because when we increase the contrast it just increases that hue and it just makes everything look a little bit weird so again come down to the bottom select a hue and saturation adjustment and just pull out the color so the trick here is just to get it so that it doesn't start going into black and white so you just want to get rid of that vibrancy out of the image. So there we go. So now you've done that, we need to create what's known as a stamp layer. And that is basically a layer containing everything that we've just done. So to do that, there's a little bit of a shortcut that you need to remember. And it's Shift, Alt or Option, Command and E. And that will then give you this new stamp layer. Once you've done that, come to Filter and then come down to other and select high pass so we're creating a high pass filter and this here you just want to be sharpening the outline of the image so if i increase this up you can see that's starting to do it too much so the trick is just to be able to see some of the outlines of the textures so the skin the hair you can see here just the just the outline so once you've done that press ok and come up to the blend mode and just change this to overlay and that's going to give you a little bit of a sharper picture so you can see there's the before there's the after if i zoom in you'll be able to see what i mean so you can see there it just sharpens out all the edges and that's what we want so now we've done that we want to create another stamp layer so that we can then do some dodging and burning so again shift alt or option command and e to create another stamp layer and we want to come over to the dodge and burn tool here so i'm going to select burn to start with i'm going to make sure that my brush is set to zero on the hardness and i'm going to select mid tones and i'm going to keep the exposure anywhere between 10 and 20 percent just so we can do it gradually so let's just start going over some of the areas that we want to darken down so let's just go over some of the nose there cheek where the, the light is hitting here Top of the head, I'm going to make the brush bigger just by increasing the brackets keys. And then we've got the hand as well. So some of these knuckles here, because this is closest to the light, we just want to darken this down a little bit. And then here. So let's go over the beard and some of the hair as well. At the top there. Good. So what we can now do is just go in and do a little bit more delicate work. So I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller and I'm going to follow just the contours of the lines here on this forehead and any other areas that you want to darken. So what this is going to do is just create more contrast. I'm going to increase the brush and just go over the eyebrows. And it's just going to give the image a little bit more depth and give us a more of this dragon style look. So I'm going to just darken all of these areas around here, under the eye there. So you wouldn't want to be doing this on a portrait with someone with soft skin, so a younger person, because it just wouldn't fit right. So let's just darken these areas here and the nose, these areas here. There we go. So what we can do as well, because we're only darkening the mid-tones, we can go over the beard and it's only ever going to darken the mid-toned areas. It's not going to do anything to the highlights or the shadow. So if we now change this to shadows, we can then go over some of the areas that are a little bit darker and it will just darken them for us so we can emphasize and really darken some of the natural shadows that are there like that if you start going over here areas like this you can but it can then start looking a little bit false like i've just gone over there so take that out just stick to the shadows with this particular setting on the shadow section at the top there so that looks pretty good. Okay, 
So we can then also do the same to the highlights if we wanted to, but what I'm going to do is just swap this over to the dodge tool and this is going to brighten areas. So again, I'm going to select midtones. And with this, I just want to go over the eye there and again, some of the beard just to bring out some of that detail on his beard and on the hair there. There and at the top. So you can take your time with this, really get everything looking good and you'll be good to go. So if we look at the before and after for the dodge and burn, you can see we've done quite a bit there. So we've just emphasized all them shadows and sorted out them highlights around the hand, things like that. So that's looking pretty good. So what I like to then do is just to go back over a little bit what we've just done with regards to these settings here. So what I like to do is sometimes run through them again. Now before I do that, what I do like to do is just come and add a brightness and contrast adjustment, just increase some contrast a little bit to the overall picture. So okay, so that, and then I like to come down in here and add a hue and saturation adjustment. And again, just bring down some of that color because some of the work we've done, it's just gonna mess it up a little bit. And then finally, what I like to do is come to the curves adjustment. And then this time I create three points and then I just manually adjust everything and just get it looking a little bit, a little bit better, a little bit cleaner. So I'm just looking at the highlights here. This is your midtones and this is your shadows there. Okay, so once you've done that, come down to the bottom and then you can do some color grading. You can do lots of different bits and bobs that you want to do depending on how you want the final image. What I like to do is to add a color lookup. So I'm going to select that and then in the top where the LUTs are, I'm going to come down and I'm going to add something like a horror blue or maybe even something like the foggy night. That can be quite interesting as well. So once you've done that, come to the opacity and just bring that down a little bit. And you can also play with a blend mode. You can just go over some of these different options and you'll see what you get. Sometimes you can get some interesting effects there. So depending on what you want the final image to look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this onto, let's have a look. In fact, I'm just going to leave it onto the normal for now. Yeah. I'm going to bring that down to around 27% and you can see the difference which that that makes. It just adds a little bit of color to the whole of the image there and just gives it a little bit more depth. So if we look at that, let's come to our history, click on the little camera and you can see there's the before. Sorry, there's the before, there's the after, there's the one that I've done previously. You can see there's a little bit more dodge and burn in that one. Uh, I've spent a little bit more time just going over them areas there. So you can see that that looks really, really interesting. You can then come back here and you can start tweaking, adding some, uh, maybe some more curves adjustments, some more levels adjustments, and just, you know, really fine tuning the whole process. So that's how you do it. That's how you do the dragon effect. So it's really, really cool effect and uh, it can do wonders to your images. So I hope you enjoyed that. Take care. I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.